Hey, welcome back to Magic City Entertainment. Hopefully, you guys are doing great today. So, for today's video, I'm bringing you guys a review of One Division. Yes, I know it's the first like big Marvel TV show cinematic that's coming to Disney Plus, and I was like, you know, let me go ahead and watch it. So, the last episode aired last Friday. I know I was gonna bring a review sooner, but I'm super busy. <laughs> but um, I'm here now and I'm dropping this review for you guys now. So let me just say one thing about this show. It's really freaking good. But there is one problem that I did not like. There, there's a few, but is that the first two episodes really don't set anything up for you. It's episode three. Well, it okay. Let me free, rephrase. So I wanted to. It sets it up, but it doesn't set it up like entirely. So you don't understand what's going on with those first two episodes. You're just sitting there like, I'm um, not understanding. Episode three is when episode one and two all tie together, and now you understand what's happening to Wandavision. Why is she doing what she's doing? Why is there this barrier and everything? So you're learning more stuff in episode three than you did in episode one and two episode one and two kind of feel like filler episodes honestly <laughs> um so yeah and there was there was a lot of stuff that was like okay one thing i will say is that they had a lot of easter eggs here and there um i'm not sure if you guys remember jimmy jimmy woe from ant-man he learned a card trick from I forgot the character's name from Ant-Man. He learned a trick from him, basically, right? The card trick, when he flips it from his uh, thing and out. So he did that. Um, what else? Was there another? There were quite a few. I can't remember on the top of my head. That was one that really stood out to me, though. Like, that was really cool. Um, all the other episodes were good. Uh, none of them were like, oh, wow. Like, none of them were, like, spectacular. There was one episode that was not needed like at all they brought back a character that it, it was dumb it was honestly why the episode was pointless it didn't add much really to the story and i was just like okay like they didn't want to they shouldn't have brought this person back at all i'm not gonna say what it is because it may be a spoiler for some people so i'm not gonna say who they brought back or anything but i'm pretty sure you guys can look it up and you'll find out for yourselves but personally with me it was not a good move i thought it was pointless honestly it didn't it didn't make the show move any forward or back kind of just stay neutral um and then the villain the villain was weak she was the weakest part of this whole the whole show like everybody else was fine um Monica was she was cool you know she she had her moments or whatever um there was Darcy she is from Thor she came back to me an appearance in this show which was I thought was pretty cool honestly so I didn't think we were gonna see any other character from Thor being another Marvel show or movie let alone but it was pretty cool um yeah back to the villain the villain was uh yeah, she was weak. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, she was weak. Like, they had her, they built her up. <clears throat> excuse me. They built her up to be like this overpowered type of villain, right? You're like, oh, okay, maybe she can overtake Wanda, right? Nope. N not even close, honestly. It wasn't, Wanda knew she was gonna win that battle as soon as it freaking started. Like, because apparently the Scarlet Witch is like the most powerful witch out there. And this girl, this other chick, is just a regular witch. She just used dark magic. So, yeah, she got wrecked pretty much. She got mopped, actually. Um, so, yeah, the villain was whack. The best character to me, hands down, was Vision. I felt like Vision was by far the best character in the show. Like, I know it says Wanda Vision, but like, it should have been called Vision. It's like, Vision had really good character development. Like, we already know about Wanda. We, we, we know about her, you know. 
they tried to do a little bit of character development with her and everything. I'm not saying it was done bad. It wasn't done bad at all. It was just like, I felt like Vision was the star of this show. Like, he set the bar pretty high. Like, his acting, on point. You know, he would, he did a really good job. He made Vision believable. He made Vision feel like a human. Like, yeah, like, that's how good Vision was. I felt like Vision was the literally the best part of this, the whole WandaVision. Because the ending was dumb, also. The ending... It was, I, I, I thought the ending was dumb. Like, it was just, it was like, wow. You could have done it better, basically is what I'm saying. You could have done it way better. And, um, and also, she, like, um, I don't know if this is a spoiler or anything. I'm not going to say it. I'll save it for the end. Um, yeah, I'm going to say that part for the end. I don't want to say it just yet. But, um, what else? There's, there's, there's quite a few things that were missed in the show they, there was one thing though that really made me mad jimmy's like i'm gonna call for backup right we're all thinking oh is he gonna call in um winter soldier cap is he calling in avengers calling black Wid not black widow because black widow yeah yeah um uh iron man maybe no not iron man <laughs> iron man is dead or who knows who knows you know um but he said he was calling back up. We're thinking, who is he calling? Who who can he be calling? You know, I don't. You know what I'm saying? Y yeah, no, he didn't. It freaking called in uh, a, f a friend from the military. That was it. I'm thinking, oh, maybe he's calling Thor, maybe, or I don't know, Captain Marvel, someone like really big. Nah, it was just some military people. Really. I mean, you said he was calling backup. So I, I guess we're all just getting ahead of ourselves. A lot of people thought that they were calling like a cameo or something. And nope. There was one cameo, but it wasn't. We didn't need that cameo at all. Um. Yeah. Overall, I thought the show was cool. Had some funny moments, and I do. There was another thing I did like. I like how each episode had a, like a different theme to it. Like there was a modern family episode type of feel to it there was a malcolm in the middle type of feel episode to it there was quite a few different like ones that you they took from other shows and added it to theirs that was dope honestly i thought that was a pretty cool idea i liked it that like it, the thing is with this show it felt like a sitcom instead of a marvel marvel series type of show you know how marvel do is they like um, cinematics with the movies and everything it has that feel to it this didn't have that to it like it felt like a sitcom like going into it you know especially that first episode first episode set up like a sitcom so yeah, yeah. I don't know maybe season 2 I don't know how season 2 is going to go season 2 I don't know because I was season 1 ended anything's possible I guess I mean there's a end credit scene at the end and yeah, I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna explain that. You just gotta watch it to find out for yourself. Honestly, it's a good watch. Honestly, it's not like it's terrible. Um, it was good. It was honestly watchable. The best, I would say, the best parts about the show was Vision, the, um, the different type of themes they took from different TV shows. Um, what else? Honestly, that was probably about it. Oh, and then uh, the, some of the Easter eggs, and then that's it. Honestly, those are the best things that were in this show entirely. Things I did not like were there was one cameo that was mind-boggling. Didn't need to happen at all. The villain was weak. I was hoping the villain would be more, like, powerful and actually put up a bigger fight. The way it ended was freaking dumb, honestly. It was freaking dumb. Um... And yeah, I mean, technically there were like two villains, I guess you could say. But um, he was whatever. He was just a military dude. You know what you're going to get from a military dude. You know, he sees heroes as the villains, yada, 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 stuff like that. Overall, the show was very enjoyable. I liked it. I mean, it seems like I'm nitpicking here, here and there, but it was honestly really good. So with that being said, I'm going to give WandaVision a score of a 9 out of 10. Yeah, it was good. Like... 
it was really good i enjoyed it and everything um but i would love to know what do you guys think did you guys enjoy wandavision did you think it was good did you think it was bad what was your best what was your favorite thing in the show what was your worst thing in the show um i would love to hear from you guys what you guys think of it but if you guys want to stay tuned talk a little bit about spoilers i'm gonna put a spoiler warning up here right now okay You've been warned. If you stay for the spoiler warnings, do not get mad at me. I'm telling you beforehand, spoiler talk. So first thing I want to say is the end credit scene where her sons are calling her. Where is she going? Where are you going? Like, literally, everything that happened, you vanished away. Vision vanished away. Your kids vanished away. Where are your kids at? Hmm? Where are they at? So I guess we'll find that out in season two. It was another thing. They brought back Quicksilver, but the, here's the crazy thing. They didn't have the same actor from the movie. They brought the one from X-Men over. Like why? why? And it's crazy because they even said it in the show. Why does your face look so different from what I remember? And he's like, well, that's how you see me. What? It was, Literally, it was uncalled for. Like, no one asked for this, okay? No, it didn't even bring anything to the show. Like, him being there didn't bring nothing to the show at all. Like, I'm like, wow, they brought him in for nothing. He was supposed to be, like, the comic relief, right? He wasn't even funny, man. Like, his jokes didn't really hit like that. Like, I, I don't know. It was, yeah, I don't know why they brought him in, honestly. And then... You find out what happens to Vision and um, and everything and stuff like that. How they reassemble him and they're going to use him as a weapon. It's a crazy thing. So as Wanda and um, I forgot the other girl's name. Agnes. Agnes. They were fighting, right? You got those two were really, like really fighting. Vision and other Vision, they were fighting too. But they end up coming to an agreement about a, a theory. They were talking about a freaking theory, right? And then that's how everything got unlocked for him. What? They were talking about a theory throughout a fight and that's it? <laughs> that's crazy. And there's like, there's a whole bunch of memes going on right now about whole WandaVision and everything. But I was like, oh wow. That's how it, that's how it ends between them two. And it's crazy because it reminded me of um, old man Logan where you got, you know, the one, the old Logan, you got the, the new version of Logan, you know? And it was like, that's what kind of reminded me of. Um, but yeah, he ended up just flying away. So we don't even know where that vision went. Because all we know is that can be vision, 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 right? And then Wanda can link up with that vision, basically. Because he's basically back online. Apparently, he's back online. So there's that. Um, there was also one thing, I'm not sure this is a spoiler, but there was one thing I was like, how the hell did Wanda get pregnant? I, I was always thinking that throughout the time. So I'm like, how could Wanda get pregnant? Literally, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, I'm not sure if Vision has any rubber, like, any, you know what I'm saying. I don't want to say it on here, but you know what I'm saying. Like, I was honestly thinking that the whole time. Like, how did she get pregnant? I mean, because, like, if that was possible, she would have been got pregnant in the Marvel movies with Vision, right? But in the TV show, she did. I don't know. They never they never really said how it happened, but it just happened, apparently. I mean, but other than that, there are no other major spoilers or anything like that. Oh, Monica gets powers. I don't know what they're going to do with that. Um, yeah, she got her powers from going back into the Wanda vision, She went like three times. They're like, if you go again, something's gonna happen to your body. She said, I don't care. So she went back and she got powers. Yeah. So there's that. So it seems like Monica's about to become a hero as well. So we'll see how that goes. Who knows? They may give her her own spinoff show. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's, I think that comes about all the spoilers that there was. There might've been more that I missed. Also, if you see any Easter eggs that you guys thought were cool, drop it in the comment section for me. But anyway, make sure you guys stay awesome and amazing. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.
Peace.